welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit more creative, a little bit different than I've normally done on my on my channel here before. We are actually not going to be using eyeshadow palettes. We're just going to be using different face products for your eyes in case you end up like me one day and you get to your location in your hotel room and you by chance realize that you're like, oh my gosh, I have no eyeshadows. How am I going to do my makeup? I've got you covered. So before I waste any more of your time, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I already put on my brows and went ahead and primed my lids as well. Um, but I kind of want to do something different today. I don't really want to work from a certain eyeshadow palette. I kind of just want to play with like my contour palettes and my blush palettes. So that's kind of what we're going to do today. I want to do something like a um, peachy bronzy look. So we'll see how this goes. But to set my primer in place, I'm going to be using the light shade right here in the palette. Just so you guys know, this is the contour kit from Anastasia. It's my favorite. It's the powder one. So I'm going to be using the shade right here in the corner. I'm going to take that on a flat shadow brush. And I'm just going to go over my eyeshadow. I don't really know what inspired me to not use a eyeshadow palette, but I kind of just wanted to do something different. I don't know. I, when I was looking through all of my palettes, I wasn't really inspired by anything. So I thought, what the heck? I'll just use all my face products for my eyes because I know that this has happened to not only me but when I'm traveling and I literally forget to bring an eyeshadow palette this is what ends up happening I'm standing in my hotel room like oh gosh I don't have any shadow so let me just create something based off of my face products once I have that applied I'm gonna go into the shade right here this is just this middle taupey contour shade just going to take that on a Morphe M433 crease brush. Just taking up a little bit of that and I'm just going to be running this in from the outer edges through my crease. And I do kind of want it to be like a halo effect. So that means I'm going to be bringing it from the outer edge through the crease and also buffing it into the inner corner as well to get that halo shape. So I'm really just hugging my natural crease. And then once you have both eyes kind of balanced out, I'm going to pop into the Makeup Revolution blush palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here on the corner. It's this really nice warm tone peachy blush. I'm going to be picking that up on another Morphe M433 brush. This is a different one. Tapping off the excess. And I'm going to be running this just a little bit lower than where we just applied that contour shade. Just to bring a little little bit of color, I almost said little, like I, I have an accent. That probably doesn't even sound like it, but. <laughs> I notice when I'm editing, sometimes I'm like, why does it sound like I have an accent? Like what person am I? But I'm really just kind of mimicking the same shape around my eye that we just did with that first color. Just to bring a little bit of color and not so brown contour shade. And then we're going to go in with another shade for the center of the eye where the halo part is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I look so tired because I am so tired lately. I haven't been filming. As you can tell, I'm kind of getting behind again. And I've just been like so tired. Like I'm waking up. I sleep pretty well, but for some reason I'm just getting... I just look way more tired than I normally ever do. I think maybe it's because I've also been eating a lot more healthy lately. And I think it's kind of like throwing my body for an adjustment. Like it's just, I don't know, I'm used to maybe running off of a little bit more sugar than what I'm currently eating. And then from here, I kind of want to play with this guy. This is the Au Revoir um, ColourPop, what do, you, what do you call these? Luster Dust. So these are actually just highlighters that you would apply to your face. But I'm actually going to use this shade as my center focus color. I'm going to pick that up on a really flat shadow brush. And I'm just going to use this brush dry. But I'm just going to pack this right in the center of my lid here. Just to kind of tie the whole look together. And then I'm just going to take that crease brush again that we used, that PG blush shade and just lightly go over the edges just so that we don't see any harsh lines and then just for the heck of it I am gonna dampen my brush I should use this on my eyes because it probably has I'm gonna do it anyways I'll let you know if it burns there's a good possibility that this could burn a little bit but 
I'm just dampening my brush just to make that pigment a little bit more sparkly and it's not burning so that's good I thought because it has glycolic acid which is definitely not made for your eyes okay moving on to the rest of the face I'm gonna prep my skin using my favorite primer this is the Smashbox radiance primer I take about a pea sized amount and massage this into my skin for my foundation today, I'm actually going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. This is in the shade 100 Ivory. I believe this is the lightest shade. I'm going to be applying that with a kabuki brush, but before I apply it, I'm actually going to take a little bit of this Pixi Glow Mist spray and just spray my brush so that it goes on a lot smoother. Um, as I just said, this is a matte foundation, and you guys know that I am more dry, so I like it to have a little bit more slip and not so much grip. So cheesy. I'm going to go ahead and pop on my favorite concealer. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just in the shade Bronzer. Using that on a Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush and just warming up my face since this foundation is a wee bit light for me right now, surprisingly. So I'm just going to balance this foundation out so it doesn't look as light. I went ahead and popped on some concealer, but I'm going to pop on some eyeliner. This is by Smashbox. This is the black liner in the shade Raven. I'm going to be lining my waterline here. Once the eyeliner's on, I'm going to go back into the blush palette, pick up that peachy shade that we used for the shadow, and I'm just going to lightly buffing this underneath that liner or underneath my bottom lashes. For blush, I figured I'd just leave it, leave it more monochromatic, so I'm going to be using that same blushy shade for my blush. And then I'm going to be dipping into these two first shades right here in the palette for my highlighter. I'm just taking those on a fan brush. These are really, really beautiful and they work really nice to also be a blush topper. But I'm just going to be mixing those two shades for right now and just popping it on the tops of my cheekbones. I don't really feel like today being too dramatic today surprisingly <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop that right there and then a little bit on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow and for my lipstick today I'm really excited because I have a new lipstick this is by the brand flower beauty um, I know that you can get this brand at Walmart and they just now are going to be sold inside of Ulta and I'm so excited because I'd rather get it at Ulta to get points so this is the shade here. It is a beautiful mauve nude rose shade. Figured it would pair perfectly for this look. And this is in the number 025 Warm Sand Matte. So this is the first time. I haven't even swatched it. I don't know what it actually looks like, but it comes in this beautiful package. I love the rose gold packaging. This is really pretty with the white, with this clear cap over top of it. So I am going to be putting this on my lips. Mmm, super creamy. It doesn't have a smell. That lipstick honestly went on like a dream. Like, I really like this. I also have one more shade here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I also bought this one right here. This is in the shade Flamingo Flirt 080. And these, this is the color here. I will swatch it for you. They go on super creamy and really pigmented. The nice thing that I can feel about it is even though it is obviously a matte lipstick, it's more like it's way more creamy than most lipsticks that I usually wear. So I'm actually really impressed and I don't remember exactly how much these were. This is the other shade right here. So this is the shade that I have on right now, Warm Sand. And then this is the Flamingo Flirt. But they go on really creamy. I'm really impressed. I might have to get a couple more. I'm waiting for them to come into Ulta though. I don't know if they're going to be Ulta online only or what the deal is yet, but I've been trying to hunt them out, but I can't find them in Ulta yet. So we'll see how that goes when I see them there. And then to finish off the look, I'm just going to go ahead and set my face using the Pixi Glow Tonic Mist here. And then I just like to fan it all in place. That's it, you guys. That completes this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. And until next time, I'll see you soon.